Hello and welcome to a new video on uh, 805 and microcontroller. Today we will be studying about the software delay in 8051. Basically, there are two types of delays in 8051. What is, one is called the software delay, the other one is called the hardware delay. In hardware delay, we invoke the timer of the 8051 to produce the delay, while in software delay, uh, normally some set of programs which uh, normally have some conditional looping instruction are used to produce the required delay so we'll be looking into them one by one so uh, let us uh, uh, start by taking one example and uh, there are few instructions that have been written here uh, so let's uh, look at them so org0h it basically tells that what should be the starting point of the program so basically program starts from 000h and then the next instruction is move r3 comma hash 0 ffh it uh, here uh, the number ff which basically corresponds to 256 in decimal is being stored in r3 register okay then we have got this djnz r3 djnz is a uh, conditional uh, looping instruction so basically it decreases this uh, r3 then it checks whether it is equal to 0 or not if it is not 0 then it goes to the level again which is here so it comes back to djnz and djnz is evaluated again and again till r3 becomes equal to 0 so that's the concept and uh, uh, according to the number that we are feeding in R3 uh, uh, a delay will be generated so let us uh, uh, take FF the maximum value that can be stored in a 8-bit uh, register and let us see how much delay can be produced with the help of uh, this number FF so let's see here this one cycle means basically one machine cycle so evaluating this instruction uh, 8051 take one machine cycle and one machine cycle remember is equal to one microsecond how so you see that uh, microcontroller works on the uh, oscillators oscillator frequency is normally 12 megahertz okay and one machine cycle requires 12 uh, oscillator uh, clock pulses okay so if uh, that is the case then uh, the frequency of one machine cycle would be 1 megahertz 12 divided by 12 and so the time period will be 1 microsecond so one machine cycle is basically equivalent to 1 microsecond so this instruction will be when this will be evaluated by 8051 it will take 1 microsecond okay this instruction when evaluated by 8051 will take two machine cycle that means two microsecond and the number of time this instruction is executed we have to multiply it that by two microsecond to get that total delay produced by this instruction so if i write down the uh, time taken by uh, the uh, the uh, these instructions so these are the four instructions basically this instruction I have written it here to insert a breakpoint okay we want to stop the program here uh, since I will be showing it uh, showing you uh, the simulation of this program in m 51 so I have to use it to stop the program here so that the exact delay could be found out okay so don't get confused by this this is nothing just an extra instruction which has been written okay so so let's see uh, the time required for the execution of these three instructions this do not take any machine cycle okay so we have to start from here so move r3 0 ffh this is a one cycle instruction and the time taken by it will be one microsecond okay and uh, then djnz is a two cycle instruction so i am writing i'm multiplying Two by one microsecond and since number of time this will be evaluated will be 255 why 255 why not 256 because ff is 256 so why not 256 because 
dj and z first decreases r3 then checks r3 is equal to 0 or not so one decrement is before execution of dj and z so that's why it is 255 and if i sum up all these it will come out to be 511 microsecond so let us try to uh, simulate it in uh, uh, in uh, at sim at sim 51 okay so i have uh, uh, already drawn one uh, uh, program here okay so let us see how it is working okay, let us now try to see it, uh, so we have got i am i have written already these uh, four instructions in 80 uh, uh, at sim 8051 so 0 ff is being stored in r3 then the instruction d j n z r3 reduces the value of r3 so ff will become fe and then it will check whether it is equal to 0 or not it is not 0 since it is fe so it will go to the label label is again so again it will come here and this this instruction will be executed again and this execution will go on for uh, for 255 cycles okay so uh, uh, so let us move into the assembler mode okay and let me take uh, 100 here uh, so that it executes faster and uh, I have to put a breakpoint here at uh, this position. Okay, a breakpoint, as I told you, is required to stop the program at this point. We do not move, want to uh, go beyond this, so that we have an exact value of the delay that is produced by these two instructions. Okay, so now I'm running the uh, code. So when I will press run, so it will start executing. It has taken 500 and 12 511 microsecond to execute 256 instructions 255 here and one times move okay so this is uh, 256 so uh, let's move let us take one more example uh, and let us see how a small change in uh, the instruction affects the delay okay so in place of uh, the general purpose register, I have taken a memory space here, 0, 1H. Okay. So it basically corresponds to R1, but it is a direct addressing mode, wherein FF is being directly uh, saved to the memory location, 0, 1H. And uh, how it is different from the previous uh, uh, set of instruction. Now this move is of two cycle, not one cycle. So that is the only change we are we expect in the program and so the total sum of the, uh, the total time will come out to be 512 microsecond instead of 511 microsecond so i have uh, shown it here in this there program the the here i have taken 01 h and ffb is being saved in uh, uh, this uh, 01 address okay so let me run it let me run it so just see here 512 microsecond is the time taken by the program for the execution okay so let's move forward again now let us see how we can generate a delay of more than 5 microsecond because uh, you see the maximum value that can be saved in a 8-bit register is ff okay so how to produce and that FF uh, is generating a delay of uh, 5 microseconds. I want say 5 millisecond delay. How can I generate that 5 millisecond delay? So that can be done with the help of uh, uh, a loop instruction and uh, looping within loop. What it is uh, normally called looping within loop. Okay. So you could see here there is one loop and there's above this is another loop okay so let us try to analyze these sets of instruction again it starts from 0h so move r2 hash xx 
so what is xx xx is a number which we intend to find out to produce a delay of 5 microsecond 5 millisecond sorry and uh, so i am storing a number xx i will try to find out what xx is exactly next instruction is move ff to r3 so ff will go to r3 uh, ff is 256 in decimal so r3 is now containing 256 then i am decreasing r3 with the help of dj nz instruction and i am uh, checking whether it is zero or not it is not zero in the first go so the the command uh, the control will move to again so again is here again decrement Again, check whether it is zero or not. Then again, decrement. Again, check whether it is zero or not, and it will go on for 255 cycles. Then it will come out. When R3 becomes zero, it will come out, and you see there is another DJ NZ instruction. So uh, this loop was within this loop. Okay. So here R2 is decreased. R2 was XX. So a decrement in R2 will result in XX minus one. So it will check whether XX minus one is zero or not. If it is not zero. then it will go to here here and again it will load r3 by ff okay and then it is moved to next instruction wherein this instruction will be executed to 50 time 55 times so this loop will be executed within this outer loop so we have to uh, just change our calculation for this program so the total time taken for the execution of uh, these four instructions would be Uh, 2 into 255. We will start basically with the inner loop. This is the inner loop. So 2 into 255 because two machine cycle is taken by by this instruction plus 2 into 1. This is basically uh, this D J N Z R2 instruction. It takes two machine cycle for one execution. Now I have to enclose it within curly bracket and multiply it with X X Y because instructions from here to here. Okay. Let me mark it with a, 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 a pointer. So instruction from here to here, they are executed x x times. Okay, so that is why I have taken x x here. So again, a two machine cycle is added. This machine cycle is of this instruction. Okay, so uh, then this whole should come out to be five millisecond. And solving the equation will result in x x equals to 9.76, which is an approximate value. Uh, its approximate value is 0 a h. Okay, close to 10. 9.76, close to 10. So there is one limitation. We cannot exactly get uh, 5 millisecond delay because 9.76 cannot be stored in x x. X x has to be some uh, natural number. Okay, so o a which is 10. Is bit greater than 9.67. If I run, if I put it here in place of xx, then I will get a delay which will be light, slightly more than uh, five seconds. So, okay. So let us uh, see how we can do it. So I have written a program here, and uh, uh, let me uh, uh, let me uh, wait. So, so let us quickly see, see the these instructions. instructions. Okay, I will turn it in and again at same twenty fifty one. So R two wherein zero a is saved. F F is saved in R three and uh, decrement of R three. So F F is reduced by one, so it becomes F E. It is not zero, so this set of instruction will be executed for two fifty five times. Then it will move here. R2 will become nine, and it is not zero, so control will move to this point. R3 will again be loaded with FF, and 2350, 255 times it will be again decremented when it becomes zero, and this loop goes on till R2 also becomes equal to zero. Okay, so this will uh, ensure that total uh, delay will be. Uh, uh will be approximately 5 uh, milliseconds so let us start just see that uh, simulation is going on now it stops here at 5 millisecond 131 mill this extra 131 microsecond is because of that extra value that we have taken okay because of because we didn't we cannot take a decimal value here okay thank you